destruction to quote James Mitchell. momentum if he can get it back and we know how abyss can end it with one quick black hole slam but if he gets momentum on his side lance hoyt has got to be relentless he has got to be non-stop he can't let abyss catch his breath if he's going to beat this monster in the ring out here tonight oh, oh golly fun you can hear those all the way vibrating through them Arena. Yeah, check out referee Andrew Thomas. He wants nothing to do with the monster abyss. Sort of reminds me of last month at No Surrender, the officials that were injured. And you recall this, the situation where they went to Larry's Abisco. They said it's an unsafe working situation here for us. They want nothing to do with refereeing the rematch later tonight. BG James gets the duty instead. Oh, there's going to be so many questions. Whoa. Answered. Oh, it's a... As you see, when you're that tall, the leg goes up a little too high, and not many people will go on their, their leg over Look the out. rope. Uh-oh, he's got him. This could be a huge choke slam right here as Lance Hoyt's trying to fight out of it. And he does. 
pair of elbows, this side of the head, but man, came off the ropes. But the Monster Abyss just dropped him right in his tracks. Lethal Larry at that time. You gotta be wondering what's going through the mind of Lance Hoyt right there. It's like he's hitting a wall. Every time he runs into Abyss, it's just a huge 350 pound wall. Oh! Rope splash off the ropes right there. That has to knock the wind out of you. Middle rope splash count two. No. Whoa. To power out, use his leg strength after he had 350 pounds come splashing down on top of him from the middle rope. I'm wondering what kind of strategy Mitchell's going to use. As you see, Abyss is holding his ears right there. I'm wondering what kind of strategy he's going to use. Is he just going to try to beat him up, embarrass him, humiliate him? Or is he going to try to go for a quick pin to prove a point? Right now, it looks like the former as he just slams him in the ring post. Shoulder first goes Lance Hoyt. Big Lance from Big D from Dallas, Texas. Just had his shoulder driven directly into the steel ring post by Abyss. Oh, just powers him down with the foot right there. Lance Hoyt has got to find a way to turn this around, and that's just not an easy thing to do. And like you said, this is, a, this is his biggest match to date in TNA. I thought it was interesting that James Mitchell, as he, wow, sends him now again shoulder first into the other side of oh, the can, ring, directly into the steel. You can see him holding that shoulder as he hit it just dead on. I'm gonna tell you something. It's hard enough to beat Abyss with two arms. You're not gonna do it with one. If I can pick up my point, I thought it was interesting that Mitchell during the interview referred to Abyss as among the best of the giants in professional wrestling ever. And boy, that, Don, that's, that's really tough to argue with. Uh, it's hard to believe how agile Abyss is for his size. Oh, Hoyt comes back with a little counter right there. Now talk about agility from a big man. How about a mid-rope clothesline as Lance Hoyt came flying off the second rope. Now, shot off into the ropes is Lance Hoyt. Swing and a miss with the clothesline. Shoulder block takes down Abyss. I'll tell you what, he even took the shoulder that he hit into the post earlier. That's just sucking it up and fighting through the pain as he just nails Abyss with it. Oh. Took a little too much time right there. You just can't take too much time with this guy. And left himself open for a boot to the midsection. Oh, oh wait a minute. Cut in mid -air. Oh, There's the choke slam. slam. That's the move that you talked about earlier. You thought we'd see it from Abyss this time. We see it from Lance. Lance Hoyt gonna go up here doing the X Division style. You ever seen a six foot nine, 275 pound Dustin Moonsaw? Sure what he's got in mind, but Abyss gets back up to his feet using the ring ropes, charges at him and says, oh, oh, right here, a black hole slam. Black hole slam. One, two, watch! What? He got out of it! I thought it was over! Look at Abyss! He can't believe it! Nobody gets out of the black hole slam! You can't see the facial expression because of the mask, but boy, you know what's going on underneath there! You can see the eyes! That they tells told the story. Right, that tells it all. Mitchell, steel chair pull. Look at this pull apart now. Oh, tug of war between Andrew Thomas. Oh! And and it tears. uses it against him! Big boot! Cover! One, two, got it! No! Oh man, that was close. You don't get closer than that. Oh, that was a chance for Lance Hoyt right there to put the exclamation point on it. But you gotta give this big guy credit. He's got no quit in him. Able to kick out of the black hole slam, and here he goes. Right hand to the side of the head. And another. Wow, Abyss just dropped down into the corner. Now Lance Hoyt. Well, goes with the boot now. Gonna go back to the steel chair. Well, hey, Abyss brought it into the ring. As far as I'm concerned, it's fair play for Lance Hoyt. Positioning oh, this the is, chair this directly be above brutal. Abyss. Oh, what is he gonna do here? I don't have any idea. Lance Hoyt is on the ring apron on the complete opposite side. You are killing me! Unbelievable! All the way from the ring! He's got him! Two, it's over! No! Somehow the monster of his kicked out! Unreal! What the hell do you have to do to pin this monster? I mean, he went all the way across, got the kick on the chair. That was incredible! Crowd goes crazy for that guy. I'll tell you what, he's proven.
me, he can stand toe to toe with the best of them. Wow, I still can't get over that drop kick. We gotta see that again oh, if it's possible. So. Look at this. Oh, oh my God! God. Wow, that's unbelievable. To the ropes goes Hoyt. Attempt at the back body drop fails. Oh, 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 oh my God! Pin one, two, go! Oh, he got him. You gotta give it to him, though, Professor. He came out there. He didn't duck. He didn't run. He didn't die. We talked earlier about. Even in defeat, I think we just saw the same thing with Lance Hoyt. Yes, the Monster Abyss gets the win. Let's take another look, Don. Oh, he just came at him, but the momentum was too much. Abyss able to grab it, and this time, there was no way he was kicking out of another Black Gold Slam. Not after all the effort he put out in that match.